Rene Descartes, a quick overview of the philosopher and mathematician. Rene was born in 1596 in France. His parents were wealthy and sent him to a private classical school. After finishing college, Descartes joined the army, but he continued to study mathematics. He never married, and although he traveled and moved around a lot, he lived a solitary life. Descartes is not only known as a philosopher, but he is also known as a great mathematician, contributing many great discoveries and inventions. He is very well known in the field of analytical geometry, and everyone is familiar with one of his greatest inventions, the Cartesian coordinate system. This system allows algebraic equations to be displayed in a graphical form. This is the four quadrant graphing system used today. Descartes ha also had findings, like Galileo, the Earth was round. He was to publish such findings, but once he heard of Galileo's persecution by the church, he decided not to publish. The work was later published after Descartes' death. One night, while Descartes was sitting in front of his fireplace, he fell asleep. He had a dream that, was, that, was, that he was sitting at his desk. It was such a realistic dream that when he awoke, he began to question what was real and what was dream. This began his process of the table of certainty. He cleared his table and would only place things back on the table that he knew without a doubt was real. After much debate, he decided there was nothing he could put on the table. Nothing was real, except the fact that he was thinking about what was real. Hence Renee's famous quote, I think, therefore I am. Descartes began to think about what is real and not real, and began to doubt his senses. For example, when walking through a forest, you may think you see a snake, but it is actually a stick like the one pictured here. Descartes, being a man of God, believed there was an evil deception that was tricking your senses, making them unreliable. But there was one idea he had not seen but knew, perfection. Descartes knew what perfection was, but he had never seen perfection. He later claimed, using this idea of perfection, that he could prove the existence of God. Descartes is considered the father of modern philosophy. You can't put Descartes into one philosophical school. If you study pragmatism, Descartes is there. Of course, of course realism, but also idealism. Idealism, the idea that any idea depends on other ideas, is seen in his mathematical works. For example, the idea of a triangle comes from the idea of angles, degrees, and lines. It could be argued that Descartes helped accomplished the acceptance of modern science by theological dogmas. He was able to build a bridge between scientific findings and the church because he was a believer. Rene Descartes was an amazing mathematician and philosopher.